Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it's another one of the mini tutorials and today I'm going to be talking you through how I burrito a yoke. I've used this, this technique for this shirt dress here and I also used it for the sew over it eve dress which has small yokes on the front just to show you that it doesn't necessarily have to be a shirt it could be anything which has a yoke inst installed in it and it's a way of clean finishing the insides and the outsides and getting a really professional look. So I first heard about this particular tutorial from the Grainline Archer shirt and there is a video that they've done on their channel which I will link down below. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're burritoing a yoke is to attach your yoke to the back panel. So this is the back panel, this is the yoke and this is right sides together on the outside. And then I have my other yoke, so my facing right side to wrong side and I've got them all pinned so that the this is the facing on the inside that's the main back panel and then this is the outer yoke so I've got them all pinned together and I'm going to sew them for a back stitch here so all across there back stitch here and press and I'm going to sew at five eighths of an inch but you want to use the seam allowance that's included with the pattern that you're using okay so I have sewn the yoke and the yoke facing on I have pressed everything up so if you want to do any top stitching now is the time to do it with your pattern and I'm going to top stitch mine and I like to use my blind hem foot because it has a guide that I can run along that crease there so I, I keep the the guide along the crease and then I move my needle over to the left and as long as you use the same needle position for the entire garment your top stitching should look consistent. So I'm going to top stitch this through all of the layers, it's just an aesthetic preference that I have. Okay so top stitching is done and the next thing you want to do is you want to fold the inner facing out of the way because we just want to be pinning these top shoulder seams at the moment. So I've got that right side up, I have my bodice pieces and I'm going to put those right sides together matching up any notches and we're going to pin these together and sew across the shoulder seam so attaching the back yoke to the front bodice piece with the inner yoke left free. The shoulder seams are sewn together so this is the front of the bodice, this is the exterior back yoke so I've done that for both shoulder seams. Now this is the fun part so I have the back of the bodice and I have the two fronts of the bodice and then I'm going to roll these up like this and as you can see the interior yoke that we had left free comes into view and so this is where the burrito comes from because you want to you've got all the bit that you've rolled up this is the interior yoke these are the shoulder seams that we've just sewn so you're going to match up your notches and pin your shoulder seams together making sure that all of the bulk of the bodice is not pinned into your stitching line. Yeah. And you want to do that for both sides. Okay, once you have everything pinned into place, you actually want to turn it around because we're going to use our previous stitching line as a guide for this next line of stitching. So you want to make sure that nothing is caught, nothing of your bodice is caught into these pins and you should be able to get your fingers right the way through and make sure that that's all free. So we're going to go over this line of stitching to attach the inner yoke to the shoulder seam at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, so once you have done that second line of stitching, you should end up with something that looks like this. So, giant burrito, that's where the name comes from. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to reach inside and pull this all out. And we haven't stay stitched our neckline yet, so you do want to do this as gently as possible. Okay. So once you've done that, everything should go 
come out and lie nice and flatly and obviously they're not pressed yet but you have nicely finished uh, shoulder seams and a nicely finished back seam. So I'm going to go press this and then I'm going to top stitch again because again as I say that's just a uh, preference for me for aesthetic reasons but there you go you have successfully burritoed your yoke you can do this method on other things uh, it doesn't have to be a shirt for example the sew over eve dress has little mini yokes on the front of the bodice and I burrito those because it's just a finish I really like the look of on the inside of the garment so this method will work for anything that has a yoke and a yoke facing so I wanted to show you that you can use the burrito method on things other than the yoke of a shirt. So this is the Sew Over Eve dress which has a small yoke at the front. Now this is a rayon fabric so it's very lightweight which is why I can do this because this is a very small area. But what you want to do is I've got the back right side up and I've got the front right sides together and I'm going to pin them across the shoulders with the inner yoke out of the way and I've um, the pattern doesn't actually call for you to do this this is just something that I've added so that I don't have to French seam these two seams and it's just something that I prefer to do I thought I'd show you a different yoke burrito so I've sewn the shoulder seam to the front yoke at the allotted seam allowance in this case it's 5 8 of an inch and I've done that for both shoulder seams and I've got everything laying flat and I'm now going to roll it all up so Roll everything up. You don't want to catch the yolks. So this is the inner yolk that is left free. And you want to bring that over and match up your notches and pin along the stitching line that you've just sewn because you're going to sew the yolk down and keep all of the bodice out of the way and we're going to do that on both sides. This is your burrito so again you want to make sure that everything is out of the way this is a slightly trickier one to do because the yolks that you're sewing are much smaller so I have pinned it from the side that's not been sewn but I'm actually going to sew it from this side because I want to sew over the previous line of stitching and again double check that you've not caught anything in that line of stitching because ask me how I know so I'm going to sew this at 5 8 of an inch so my shoulder seams have been sewn in, now you need to pull your bodice right through to the centre front and you want to do this really carefully because the neckline is not stay stitched so you don't want to pull anything out of whack. So there's that one. And that one. And once it's all the right way out, you will then have, obviously it's going to need pressing, you have a nicely finished yoke on the inside and the outside. And as I say, this is just a preference of mine for finishing this particular part of this particular dress. And I just wanted to show you that you could use the burrito method on smaller projects. It doesn't have to be the yoke of a shirt. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!